This is tutorial number 115, and it covers the fixed constraint within CATIA v5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 113, which is located on the DVD. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over the fixed constraint, and it's this constraint right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to fix one of the components. And what this does is it allows you to put it in the position you want, fix it, and it will never move. Now, the reasoning behind fixing a component is that you can have uh, one base component that's fixed and everything else is going to be uh, constrained and moved around with respect to that one component. So, in the other examples how I was telling you that you have to, if you want to move this, this uh, block, you'd have to click this block first, then this block to move. It doesn't matter the order after you fix it. So after you fix it, you can click this face first and then this face and then uh, the brown block will move. So to fix a component, what we have to do is click fix, click the component, and you can see in our tree under the constraints that we have a fix component, uh, fixed constraint on this component. Now if we add constraints onto it, so say let's do a offset, and say we click this face first and then this face and we'll make it 300. Click OK. Now what we should expect is that this block should move in this direction 200. When we go to update it, it's the brown block that moves because this one's fixed in its position. So whenever you're creating an assembly, it's a really good idea if you're using the uh, constraints rather than positional, that when you're doing the constraints that you uh, fix a single component and then from that component you're able to bring in the rest of the components as your assembly. So you have one fixed component as your starter and then you can do everything off of that and then off of each other. So that concludes our tutorial on how to use the fixed constraint within CATIA v5.